course, that's why I don't like using these. It's getting that plastic quadrant on it, which will hide that. Yep. It's a bit drafty. Not bad. Perfect. This one's lifting up a bit. And then that plastic is on there. This is where the fridge is going to go. Place that piece of sparring I run off I put off at the back at cupboard. Yep. Because otherwise I've not to fix this to the side. Ta la la is it anyway it's trying to make it I'll put it that way. All different sizes. Like a glove. I lost my camera. Your persuading tool. Just need to tap it into into place. It will go in. It's just that it's a bit bouncy. And maybe it won't. Oh, it will. It's because it's just springing back. It is wider than other, but that don't matter. Well, we spent most of yesterday at a caravan breakers yard, didn't we? Getting all these. Um, yeah. New units and things from old caravans. Um, probably got much more than you're ever going to use, but things like door fronts and things like that, so everything matches as good as possible. Got a, you got a fridge as well, didn't you? I did. And that works okay. Just wants a bit of a clean up. It's not plugged in. It's not plugged in. It doesn't it work? Doesn't it work? <coughs> I need to put some more stuff with it. Well, that's fired it in properly. There you go. Some spring at the bottom there. One across there. That's it. Need to take that off before I forget. Yeah, that back piece. Oh, these are getting on my whistles. Come on, get out of the way. Move it. Do we clear out, couldn't you? Yeah. So to speak. That's one piece. I should actually put some uh, tool be one there. Yeah. And then screw it to the floor at back as well. Once it's all delivered. Just in case anybody's wondering why he's not using a jigsaw, it's a metal cutting blade. But it's really thin, yep. and you get, I can get a straighter cut with that than I can with a jigsaw. There you but go. My jigsaw always ends up like that. Yep. Or cut ends up like that. Because it's shit. Right. So there's your answer, because I'm no doubt someone will have been saying, What's he using, what's that, he using that for? Just a personal preference, isn't it? There's a bit there in I apologise if there's any wind noise, but I'm afraid I can't do anything about that. It's quite windy today. Out of ammo, <laughs> so to speak. Good bit of kit these staple guns, aren't they? It's not bad. It's only a, it's only a tool tech. Um, can't remember where I got it from, but they're not. Uh, it's not. Oh, it is fire, and it's just going in right deep. They're going to pull through, is it? No. That's actually overhanging a bit. Uh, no. Of course, the staples were only there just to hold this in place. Well, uh, well, it gets the screws in, of course. A bit of extra. 
Yeah, it only goes to there, so I don't want to go too close to the end or it'll split the wood. Yep. Start flapping around. Get one between them two. Corner. So when I fasten that, I can screw that unit as well at back. So if you just screw it at front, flap around a bit. Just flap around a bit. Whoa, that wind's getting up. Yeah. It was, wasn't it? It's a good match though, colour wise, isn't it? Yeah. Pattern wise. This unit over here is slightly different in colour because it's from a different caravan, but because <coughs> it's not directly next to them, you can hardly, hardly notice. You'd have to be looking to see it to notice difference. Yeah. Now, Mark's obviously capable, more than capable, of uh, building the units himself from scratch, but I just didn't want to go to that extent and not necessarily the expense but um just didn't want to go through all the whole rigmarole of actually building the roads yeah making doors yeah. and stuff and this is kind of ready made isn't it almost well it's lightweight stuff for a start um and don't forget that uh, you can buy normal kitchen units and the wider yeah I don't, and i don't want the way i wanted the the shallow one yeah uh, it seems to be working out okay so far and it certainly does. I mean, the, the the oven there is not not fixed in yet. It's just sat in there, just in case you, you're wondering and saying, no, it's not level. It needs a trim. It needs trimming out and everything. Um, we've got the sink. The sink's in there. That needs sorting out as well. Slightly too long, though, wasn't it? But the caravan breakers yard, believe it or not, out of the 15, 16 caravans that were in there, this was the only sink that was in any of them. That come out of a different caravan, that come out in a different caravan, and so did that, we managed to match them all up. Yeah. The thing with things like sinks and ovens and fridges and things, they're the first thing to go um, from caravan breakers yards. They don't stay in there very long, they get so pretty sharpish. So we have to make do with what, what he could get, um, which, as he's just pointed out, matched quite well, so we were lucky in that respect. <coughs> right, time to fabric the back. Because you can actually right. see it through the window. Yep. I do it outside, but it's still windy. Yeah, ideally, in it. Not far, it needs to be ventilated, yeah. ideally. Right, now I've got to do with this. Somewhere. I'll have to do it on the floor. And the wires and everything else. <laughs> and my shoes. Mr. Robinson. <laughs> it's uh I don't know where guns we have to cut one side. I think you're not gonna see it anyway. The reason he's doing this. 
on the back is because it faces the, the window and uh, you don't want bare wood showing through a window, it looks uh, looks rubbish so this darkens it down a bit um, so you can hardly see, see it from outside. I'll just show you what I mean. If you look at the what he's done on the back of the kitchen, you, you can't see it, or well, very, very difficult to see. Whereas if you had just the wood, the bare wood, it did show quite clearly through the uh, through the window. That's why he's putting that on the back. I put a catch on that. Not watching. Yeah. Catch. Right. That'll do. Oh, let's drill straight through all frame now, isn't it? Steel. Right. So there's the fridge test fitted, which uh, fits fits okay. Um, now he's messed around with it a little bit. Um, put had to put a base in there. Uh, we had to lower the fridge down because it would have been higher up, but we had to lower it down because. The vent for it uh, would be level with the window, um, which is no good. So we need to have the vent lowered down so we can put a vent outside at van for it. But yes, it's just test fitted, it's okay, it's not screwed in or anything yet. Um, and yes, the front of it is a bit manky, but that's going to be replaced, so it'll be all nice and fresh. Just at the moment, on with the sink. Doing all the plumbing bits. Oh, my shoes come off. <laughs> tight down here. Plumbing. I need to cut that off because um, that's a bit long. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to put a blank in it somehow because this is all we've got. I need another elbow like that and I ain't got any. Oh, actually, I'm going to put that on first. tight and then snap that on there's even an old cut there look ready for it yep. at the bottom we're already here that perfect and then need to get one on the hot water all salvaged from a caravan yeah cost for cost a fortune this sort of stuff I mean, I don't know, probably about three quid a piece then. Yeah, if you, you know bought I mean? it from a shop, you mean? You bought them, yeah. yeah. I don't think I've got enough though to do to do up job. I've got this swines to get off some of these are right here. I don't need blue because I've done with blue. I don't need redness. I'm going to try and cobble something together now with this. That's um, blow off valve. Blow off valve, I think. So it, that one underneath caravan, so and it's obviously not coal feed, so I need to put that on. I'll do find out what it is first, though. Well, it's certainly coming together, still a long way to go yet, but uh, one thing I do want to say is that um, we're not doing this video as a, as a tutorial or anything like that because it's the first time we've ever done one of these loads of boats and stuff but this is a different kettle of fish altogether fish. isn't it yeah, it so it's not meant to be any kind of how-to video or anything like that it's just the way that uh, Max decided to do it right. oh, and I'm happened. pretty sure that people will be saying you don't want to do it like that, you want to do it like this. And I'm, I'm sure you're probably right, but um, either way, it will be fully functional and it will work whichever way we do it, I think. I'm trying to cobble this together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know what I need to do. I need to take that out and I'll put it in there. But I don't need that blue one because that's a Chinese puzzle. I'm on red ones, so it doesn't matter. Because what these are, you can't get to thing to release clip 
because it won't go far enough up, so you just have to cut this off. Yeah. It's got to be red anyway. Yeah. Not that it matters. What colour it is. Mm -hmm. Right, so we'll leave the video there for today. And we'll come back another day when we're a little bit further on. Thanks for watching. See you next time.